Hey, hey, what is up, Woodchoppers? Andrew Rooney here, full-time drummer and drum teacher based right here in Auckland, New Zealand. We have got a PayPal request for Thomas. Howdy, Andrew. Although I am not a drummer myself, I am passionate about music and always strive to increase my general music knowledge and vocabulary in an effort to better understand what I like about the things that move me. That is an amazing first sentence to hit me with. For decades now, I've been a fan of Charlie Benante, drummer for Anthrax. New band on the channel, new drummer on the channel. Excellent. I couldn't tell you any of the technical reasons why from a musician point of view, but his drumming style just lands with me and my ears. When I first heard the studio version of this track on their 2003 album, I was blown away and just knew that there was a lot going on on here that I simply don't have the institutional knowledge of drumming to properly appreciate. Just over a decade ago, Charlie posted this video of him playing through it on his home setup and I really wanted to know more about what's going on here. Please Andrew, can you shine a wee bit of light on this and generally break this down in your usual approachable layman friendly analytical style? Question mark. Thanks. Up until this point, all I know of Anthrax, to be completely honest and open with you guys, is the track they did with Public Enemy. Bring the noise back in the day. Absolute banger. Cannot wait to check this one out. Thomas, thank you so much for the support of the channel and this pick. Let's hit it. Just a couple of things real quick. So this is an unmiked recording. This is just him capturing himself on the drums on oh, this is 11 years old phone or some kind of flick camera or something. So it's not um, like studio style mic'd up drum kit. It's just very, very raw audio, which is great. That's what we want. Um, unfortunately, the angle is from in front, so I can't see his feet. I don't know if he uses a double kick. Anthrax fans out there will come at me with the pitch forks. Single kick only, man. But um, I'm not sure. So it's a little bit hard to tell from that side, but um, digging it so far. Let's see what else we got. Open handed now. Thomas, one little thing, and it's a stylistic thing that might be of interest for you because you said you're not a drummer. Charlie is playing open-handed and crossed over. So he's essentially playing ambidextrous, left-hand lead, but also right-hand lead. Slightly unusual. Uh, I mean, drummers do it, but it is a little bit unusual. It requires a little, little bit more facility and independence, and it opens up different melodic options on the kit. So... Just thinking of things that might play into what you what it is you like about Charlie Benante. And of course, this is all tied into actually enjoying the band, so you know the drum parts and how they relate to the music. So it's all tied very closely together. Let's keep it going. That's cool. Th 
this groove right here, I feel like could be one of the things you like about him as a player, and it's the intensity. I don't know if we would class Anthrax as metal thrash. I'm not quite sure, you know, if we had to pigeonhole them into a genre. If we had to place them somewhere in the CD store. Remember CD stores? Remember those things? Um, I'm thinking we're going to be putting this maybe in the thrash section. And with these great thrash drummers, it's the intensity. This groove here is just so intense. There is so much going on and it's so it's so multi-surface. So we've got ride, but we're also coming back and catching extra snare hits. So I, I think it's a little bit of the intensity part of it that is adding to the, your enjoyment of it. There you go, go hit him up. Nice, and while I'm here, I'm gonna go down and subscribe to Charlie. That's what we gotta do, we gotta support each other. Please do support my channel uh, by subscribing if you enjoy it too. Okay, so that's an interesting one because obviously it's isolated drums. It's also isolated drums recorded very, very raw. As I said at the start, not on mics. So it's incredibly raw. It's just sort of get a feel for how it would have sounded in the room. Um, purely from uh, drumming side of things, like isolated drums, some really cool melodic ideas, great intensity, tasty double kick. It well felt like double kick. Some of those bump like the triplety type double kicks in there, but not too much, right? Just really tasteful and just on the bits where we want that real flurry of double kick notes. Really visual and exciting style to be able to change lead hand and being able to access different toms at different points. And so that's certainly adding to the equation as well. Overall, man, I just think it's the intensity. Just the such a strength of song structure and the intensity that he was able to build within that. So obviously I'm gonna have to go off and check out the full song to fully grasp the drum part and see how it relates to the full song. So that's up to me. I'm going to get on that. Thomas, thank you so much for this awesome pick and introducing me to a new drummer and getting a new drummer and a new band on the channel. It's good stuff. Thanks again. Hey, what is up Woodchoppers? Please do remember original video links as always in the description of each video. Please do go along, check it out and support the artist. If you enjoy my channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, like button and leaving a comment down below with what you thought of this video and what you would like me to check out in the future. If you would like to support my channel further, I do have a Patreon, it's just $5 a month and you will get access to the blocked videos. If you have a reaction request that you definitely want to get on the channel, the only way I can guarantee that at this point is via the PayPal link and it supports the channel. So thanks in advance. And remember you as a subscriber of my channel, you get access to a full and free 30 day trial over at Drumio. Learn from the world's best drummers and drum teachers. And they've got over 6,000 songs in the database downloadable PDFs for those transcriptions, or you can play along, watch in the player, slow down loop sections. It is truly awesome. Go check it out. 30 days free on me. Guys, until next time, keep chopping wood. Take it easy. Ciao.